So in this lecture, we've talked a lot about complex numbers. Now let's kind of focus on square roots in general, because when I say these complex numbers with the number i, right, we talked about the square root of negative 1, but what about the square roots of other negative numbers? Because, uh, for example, if we have some positive number, capital N, right here, uh, how does one take the square root of negative N? Well, there's always two square roots, so let's first talk about the principal square root, uh, for which this, by this, will denote the square root of negative n right here. When you take the square root of a negative number, its principal square root, we'll just call this i uh, times the square root of n. Or if you want to, you can put the i in the back. Um, sometimes you get a little bit confused if you if you know you draw your little radical sign too far. So generally speaking, I would put it in the front. But when you take the square root of negative n, this just means i times the square root of n. And since i, recall, is the square root of negative 1, the idea here is the square root of negative n. You can factor it as the square root of negative 1 and the square root of n, giving us i square root of n. So in order for the square root to be multiplicative, even for negative numbers, we define it the way we do. And notice, of course, that when you square this number, you're going to end up with an i squared times the square root of n squared, where i squared is negative 1, and then the square root of n, or as in the positive number, the square root of n is already a real number, you get n, and thus you end up with a negative n. So this number is a square root of negative n. It's the principal square root. Um, there's always two square roots. So you're gonna get you're gonna get this one right here, but then if you take the negative square root, uh, that's the other one right there. The principal one is what we refer to as the positive one. So as we're trying to calculate these square roots, we get things like the following. What is the square root of negative one? Well, that would just be i, as we were referring to it earlier. Nothing fancy there. But then if we come down to here like the square root of negative 4, well, this will mean i times the square root of 4, which the square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And so the square root of negative 4 is what we refer to as 2i. Uh, then if you look at, for example, the square root of negative 8, well, the first thing to do when you take the negative square root is always just pull out an i. And then we have to calculate the square root of 8, which the square root of 8 itself is not a perfect square, but it is 4 times 2. 4 is a perfect square, and so we can take the square root of 4, which is 2, that does leave a square root of 2 behind, and I would probably write this as 2i times the square root of 2, uh, and so that's how I like to write these things. I always, if there's any like whole number coefficients or even decimal coefficients, put those in front. If there's an i, then put it between the coefficient and the radical, and then anything else that can't be simplified with the radical without a numerical approximation, you'll leave that inside of the square root. So 2i square root of 2.